So here we have a basic scene in Unity. And I think what most of you are seeing is if you hit play right now, it will build it and it'll look like it's working, but as I click my uh, keys or I try to move the mouse to move my head, nothing changes, nothing moves. So what we need to do is import a proper first person uh, controller. So I'm going to stop this, come back here, and what we're doing now is we're seeing the main camera. And we don't need this main camera anymore, but I want to keep it so I have the coordinates. So I'm just going to deactivate it by clicking the checkbox in the inspector. Then I'm going to go to my asset store. You can do this online. And so I'm going to search for standard assets. And so it's called starter assets, first person character controller. And you'll see this here. Mine's grayed out because it's already been uh, added to my library. But you can just click right here and add this to yourself. Um, you can click into it and you'll see a button that says open in Unity. If you don't see that, um, it may say download or add and just go ahead and make it a favorite for yourself. So I hit open in Unity and that opens the package manager. And the package manager is the new way of importing new packages into your project. So if you've not done this before, it would say download right here. So you click download, but I've obviously already downloaded it to my local machine. So all I need to do is click import. It brings up my import window and I'm going to go and leave everything checked and just click import and let that run. Now that that's been imported, I can close my package manager window, go back to my scene window, and you'll see over here on the left, I have starter assets. Now one of the things I always do whenever I get a new set of assets is I go and see if there's a demo scene or something that I can use to see how this works. So under scenes and first person controller, you can see there's one called playground. I'm going to double click on that. And yes, we'll save and move to the next one. And I can just hit play and see how this works. So there's a main camera and there's a player capsule and all these things. And now when I press forward, move my mouse, this works. And so I have a little game that I can play in here. I move my head around, look different directions and walk. Okay, So that's what we want. It does work. It's doing exactly what we wanted. And so I'm going to go ahead and stop this one and go back to our scene. So you see, I don't have all the things that the previous scene had, and so what we need to do is add them. Well, they've done this great tool that has really made this easy. So once we've imported it, it added a tool up here in the top. So under the header of tool, starter assets, you can set to reset first person controller. Now we can't see it, but what that did was it added all three objects that we needed uh, exactly where it thought they should be, which he put it, it put it on the coordinates of zero, zero, zero. So if I click on it, double click on it, it'll take my view there, but you, obviously that's not where I want it. So I can hold shift and multi-select and move them to where my main camera is. But I don't remember where my main camera is, so I'm going to click on that and get its coordinates, 420, 14, 214. All right, so multi-select, come up here to my position, Fourteen, fourteen, and that view looks about right. I hit enter, and it should have moved them over there. If I double click on one of those objects, it puts me in that spot. And so this all looks right. All three items are there. And so I'm going to click the play button and see if this works. So now I can move my uh, head left and right, or in this case I'm moving the mouse. I can move my up and out, up and backwards arrows, left and right, and walk and move. Now, this is a little bit slow. I'm moving my mouse a lot, but it doesn't seem to be having a lot of impact. So what I'm going to do is go back and update it and change it. So if I click on my player capsule, over here on the inspector on the far right, I can change my move speed here. So I'm going to make it a little bit faster. I'm going to set my move speed to 6 and the sprint speed to 8. And my rotation speed, which is the one that matters for the head movement, I'm going to go ahead and set that to 3. And now when I preview,
now the head movement's a little bit, a lot faster. So maybe you want to take that back down to two. So you just play with it and do whatever works best for you. The key thing here to remember is that if this wasn't working or you didn't know what to do with each of these things or one of them you got deleted, all you need to do is go up here to Tools, Starter Asset, and then hit Reset First Person Controller, and it's going to drop all the pieces you need right there on the 000 coordinates.